What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna check out the SB1000 Pro subwoofer from SVS. Stay tuned. What's happening everybody? My name's Mike from Audio Architects and today we're gonna to be taking a look at this beautiful subwoofer from SVS. It's the SB1000 Pro. Now it's a brand new subwoofer on the market. It's meant to be the little brother of the SB2000 Pro which I have already done a review on and you can find it right there. So what they did here was basically took the SB2000 Pro and shrunk it so it's a 12 inch subwoofer and they fit it in a very very small enclosure i specifically asked for gloss white just like i did with the svs prime wireless speakers which you can also find the review on those right there but the difference is it's this is just like As you can see, it's a beautiful subwoofer and they use absolutely every inch of space in this enclosure to make it as small as possible. Now, I have seen 10 inch subwoofers in bigger enclosures than this. However, I really dig the fact that it's small because it fits almost anywhere. And it's a 12 inch subwoofer, so it has a good amount of output and low end extension. So they packed so much technology and features into the subwoofer you guys got to check this next clip out because i'm going to explain almost everything that i can in the best way possible because there is just so much to the subwoofer it might take up to two videos to even tell you all about it however i am going to cover all the important you know features and things you need to know as well as go over rew measurements and give you my all-around opinion on whether or not this is a good buy for you so stay tuned, check out these features. Maximizing every available square inch of surface area, SVS packed a high excursion 12 inch driver and dual ferrite motor assembly into an acoustically inert 13 inch cabinet. It has a fiber composite cone with an exceptional stiffness to mass ratio, proprietary injection molded extreme excursion surround, a dual ferrite magnet motor assembly with extended aluminum pull piece, a powder coated FEA optimized driver basket, and a dual layer voice coil design. Conservatively rated at 325 watts RMS, 820 watts peak power, the Sledge STA325D amplifier maximizes the full potential of the 12 inch driver with effortless power and precise control. The innovative design combines the efficiency of a Class D amp with the ability to generate incredible current through the fully discrete MOSFETs for outstanding real world subwoofer performance at all drive levels in any room, allowing seamless integration with any home theater or stereo speaker system. The rear panel SVS Intelligent Control Interface provides control options and connections for the subwoofer's most critical functions, like level control, low pass filter control, phase. It also comes with a USB port, which also provides power for the optional SVS SoundPath wireless audio adapter, which eliminates the need for a cable run to the subwoofer from the source component. An RCA audio interconnect input and a speaker level stereo inputs for use with older legacy receivers. Now the acoustically inert and rigidly braced sealed cabinet design has acoustic absorption, protective non-resonant extra thick ABS grill frame, reinforced internal bracing and custom ISO elastomer screw and feet that reduce noise artifacts and improve stability. Overall, this subwoofer comes jam packed with features, especially the smartphone app, which I will go over later in the video. The REW measurement went actually very, very well. It does have a slight hump at about 75 to 80 Hertz, as well as a fall off at about 25, 26 Hertz, which is really, really good for this size driver in a sealed enclosure, and especially considering the size of the enclosure. On the top end, it starts to gradually fall off at about 80 Hertz, which is where it is crossed over, so that makes perfect sense. Overall, this is a very nice linear measurement and SVS should be definitely proud of what they have produced with this unit. Now, when I fiddled around with the parametric EQ, it did change things a little bit, 
but not enough to really make a huge difference as you can see from this second measurement. Okay, so now that you know a little bit more about the subwoofer itself, I want to kind of give you my opinion on my whole experience with it all. So my experience with this subwoofer has been very, very positive. Similar to the SB2000, but now that I know how to kind of maneuver myself around an SVS sub, it came a lot easier to me. Now, using the app on your phone is gonna be absolutely essential when tuning this sub because there are no knobs on the back. As you can see, there are no knobs. There's no, there's a few buttons that you can control things on, but it's just so much easier to use the app 100%. So you basically go to the app, it links up directly to your sub, and you're gonna be able to control not only the volume, the low pass filter, the phase, the polarity, the param you can do a parametric EQ, which I did in the REW to see if it had any huge difference it helped a little bit it wasn't like I couldn't get it linear how I wanted it however it did have a, uh, a positive effect on the actual sound itself so that is cool it has room gain compensation it has port tuning uh, for those that you know have the ports this one does not have ports but uh it, it can do port tuning and it also has presets you can use one that they already have which they have movies and music and you can also do a custom eq preset on this uh bad boy so overall what did i think um well i've been using it on my computer system and i paired it with the prime wireless speaker system it has been a beautiful beautiful union between those speakers and this subwoofer they mesh and blend very well together it gives those speakers just enough bass to be a very serious contender as far as uh, gaming enthusiasts uh, even movie enthusiasts um, you know if you're in a smaller space small apartment things like that this can be a supreme solution for you I I dig it I like it. It sounds fantastic. The bass gets deep. It has a nice rumble to it. I took it pretty loud and it, it definitely shook the walls. So it, it, for being a sealed enclosure, you know, it, it gets very, very, very loud. So uh, overall, I would consider this an extremely smart buying decision because it comes in at about $4.99 at the moment. I, I, like I said, I don't like quoting prices very often because prices do fluctuate with hi-fi and with you know audio equipment. So take it with a grain of salt. It's around $4.99 right now, but it can change. I would buy it if I were you, honestly. Um, I, I don't like to advocate too much when it comes to purchasing things because I don't want you guys to come back and comment in the comments and go, hey, I hate it. But this is something I'm actually really confident you're gonna absolutely love it. it comes in black, uh, black gloss, white gloss, uh, and I believe it does come in like a wood grain. Uh, so definitely, definitely check this out because if you're looking for something to absolutely blow your mind at your computer setup, at, in your bedroom, in your living room, wherever you want to put it, and you want to pair it with, you could even pair it with other speakers. It doesn't have to be the prime wireless speakers. I'm just suggesting that because I did that and it had a very, very good result. So that's why I'm suggesting you should definitely pair it with, with something like that. However, you can pair it with your, your towers, your own you know bookshelf speakers, and it will absolutely perform, absolutely perform. So. Thanks guys for watching. I definitely appreciate uh, you guys watching the video all the way through. Don't forget, uh, I do have a Patreon. I only have two patrons right now. It's Giles and Randy, Cheap Audio Man, Home Theater Fanatics. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. Definitely appreciate it. But for those of you that are interested in supporting my channel, I encourage you to go on Patreon and check it out uh, because I d will be having a lot of patron only content and stuff like that. So you know, give it a look, see. Also, I have a Facebook group called Hi-Fi Audio Enthusiasts. You can find it by going to www.facebook.com slash groups slash audio architects. And you can find it there. 
it's a private group for only people that want to be positive about hi-fi that don't want to get in arguments about cables or any kind of weird stuff like that you just want to have a good time talk about hi-fi ask questions learn things um, there are a lot of you know industry professionals in that group so i encourage you guys to go check that out that information will be in the description below along with information on how to get this awesome subwoofer so thank you again for watching i encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already also smash the like button if you like the video and ring the bell to get notified every time i put out brand new content which is going to be a lot because i am on a video craze right now so stay tuned next video will probably come out in the next few days keep on checking in on uh, my content and we will see you next time thank you guys for joining me